Hello, my name is Anand. In this presentation, I would be discussing about RHCSA and RHCE from Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The awareness, why should I learn this RHCSA and why should I, what should I do in order to complete this RHCSA program. This is a prestigious certification program from Red Hat. Let me proceed with this presentation. My, I said that uh, I am a Red Hat Certified System Administrator and also a Cyber Security Administrator. So here in this agenda, I will be discussing about why this uh, Enterprise Server Linux. Of course, I will be following up with uh, uh, Linux distributions and why I have chosen this Red Hat Enterprise Linux, the advantages and benefits of uh, training and certification, the career opportunities and also the Linux uh, Server Administration modules. What should I do in order to learn all these modules like a training? What shall you learn? And finally, the exam information that is EX200 and EX294 that is for RHCSA uh, and RHCE. So why Linux? First of all, the advantages is the first and foremost advantage is uh, it's uh, open source, much secure, perfect for programmers. Software updates will automatically update. Customization. I mean, this is the most stable operating system which has come for the last two decades. Variety of distributions you have. Okay, free to use. GNU, that is called a GNU. No license required. Better community support. Reliability. Privacy. And much more. That's why Linux has taken a major role, especially in the server computing as well as even in uh, some of the desktop computing also. So here you see there are various, I mean distributions of Linux from various vendors. Of course, I would be discussing about Red Hat much in detail. So welcome to Red Hat Enterprise Linux, value for today and tomorrow. See Red Hat has a wide range of products. So even though it has evolved much two decades before, but now it has much more range of platform. Like I can say the most popular one is the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And you see much more uh, additional uh, top ups are there in the platform itself. You have OpenStack, you have virtualization and you say in the cloud computing, you have OpenShift as well as OpenStack. You can see in the application development, there are much programs. OpenShift is much popular and also in the middleware, you can see about Red Hat integration, storage, okay, and of course automation also. There are much, pro, much, I mean, products which are available from Red Hat. You can explore more through this www.redhat.com. Okay, this is a, I mean, a broad picture of what all Red Hat distributions uh, uh, across the complete uh, uh, domain. You see at the bottom the infrastructure hardware and software where this Red Hat Enterprise Linux stands. Okay, so rest all things. Uh, why should I use this Red Hat Enterprise Linux? Red Hat is a leading provider of open source software and IT solutions for the entire enterprise community. Understanding Red Hat solutions and enhancing your skills with the software will allow you to maximize its value and efficiency to technology skills and add values to your organization. The goal of IT professional to be proficient in Red Hat technology and be able to navigate enterprise Linux environment with ease. RHCSA, that is the foundational level associate certification in, uh, I mean, uh, in uh, system administration will allow the professionals to focus on strengthening all their abilities from file and directory management to security and much more. So, why should, when you take up a training, what are the benefits? So people do ask about what all the things which will be covered in Red Hat training, especially the benefits. So Red Hat is an open source software as described earlier and products are scalable, reliable and efficient platforms for your organizational various applications. Red Hat technology is used to power a large portion of the servers. So today, wherever you see the data centers, the, in the data centers, much of the servers are hosted on Red Hat that host websites and run cloud-based services for the organization. As such, companies around the world rely on certified Red Hat professionals. It can be various type of professionals. This means that IT professional with Red Hat certifications 
are in higher demand by current potential employers. They have the skills and training needed to confidentiality and successfully run the platform. In addition, achieving certification in Red Hat Linux is one of the top accomplishments in the IT industry. Not only does it set you apart and help advance your career, it also ensures that you are able to get the most of Red Hat deployments. Having a Red Hat certification is one of the highest paying Linux certification with an average salary about 90,000 US dollars and higher. Okay, you can see the first level of Red Hat certification and it is common for all is RHCSA which stands for Red Hat Certification in System Administration. Okay, and the top up which is RHCE is uh, autom completely automation where industry is very much in demand, need of RHCE professionals are very much required. So now you see, let me focus on the first two exams that is RHCSA and RHCE. Of course, you have the other tracks like RHCA that is architect and open stack, developer, many more op and many more certifications. So RHCSA, the first I'll be discussing about RHCSA and then I'll be discussing about this RHCE. RHCSA skill path, there are two training modules which are available that is RH124, RH134. I will be discussing about the module, I mean content in, the, in my next slide. And the exam which you need to write is EX200. So once you complete your training, you are ready for the exam. So once you qualify the exam, you are labeled as RHCSA that is Red Hat Certified System Administrator. You will be getting a certificate. Which and you see the most of the contents which are covered or the people who are about to become a system administrators need to know about configuring, installing, upgrading and maintaining Linux systems. This is what Red Hat really focus on this particular course. Using I mean established standards and procedures providing the operational support, managing systems for monitoring system performance and availability, writing and deploying the scripts for task automation and system administration. So let me focus on what you are going to learn in RH124, that is the first one of for RHCSA. There are two modules, remember? So here you will be covering about the introduction to command line. So this 124 will prepare you to understand Linux in a better way, physical storage, Okay, install and configure software components. You have various type like uh, RPM, VM, etc. You will be learning about the system services. Okay, and also some additionally like network services, how to start, stop, and additionally how to basically keep automate your services will also be discussed. Establish network connections and control the firewall restrictions. You will be learning here in this network connections, I mean like how to set up your IP address, how to basically change your network gateway or maybe firewall restrictions like how to enable a port etc. using this uh, firewall CMD. Monitor and man manage the running process. So how you can list out the process and then how you can basically manage the process like uh, killing the process or maybe reducing the priority of the process all this content can be learnt in this module. Administer users and groups, so you will be learning about how to create a user as well as a group and the group management. Review the system files log and journal for issues. How to check up this log files, like it can be messages or it can be secure or it can be any other. And troubleshoot the problems and analyze systems with Red Hat insights remotely managed with SSH and web console. You will be learning about how you can log in remotely using SSH and also web console. So now when you come across with RH134 that is system administration part 2, here you will be learning about how to install that indicates that how to reset passwords etc. if you have forgotten. So access security files, file systems and networks, execute shell scripting and automation techniques. Manage storage devices, LVM like logical volume management, increasing the swap or maybe file systems like XFS, EXT4 or maybe Stratis file system. 
So, all these things will be covered. Manage security and system access. Like you can also learn about how to control the boot process and system services. Containers is again a newly added uh, in, in Red Hat 8.2. So, you will be learning about this Podman, how you can download your containers, start your containers script, how you can host your, launch your containers. So, for those who uh, have been into Unix and Linux uh, environment for a long time, we call it a little bit more, I mean experienced, for the experienced Linux users or administrators, there is a rapid track, which we call it RH200, combines this 124 and 134, that is SA1 and SA2, reviewing the task at an accelerated pace. But the exam content is same and also the exam is also remains the same. Only the training methodology differs as also included in this offering. This offering is based on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.2 and is designed for experienced Linux administrators. Okay, now I will discuss about the exam part. So, what all we have discussed in the training, we will be doing it practically that is able to perform the following task on your own. So, all these contents are again uh, similar. So, this is about this RHCSA exam contents. Okay, now I will discuss about this RHCE exam. So, once you qualify for RHCSA exam or you can even step up to RHCE program, which is a very, very prestigious and a, a kind of professional level exam. So, here this is completely has been changed from version 8 onwards. Red Hat has changed uh, the uh, exam pattern for RHCE that is from 8 onwards RH294. Okay. In this module, the automation has been given to a greater focus that is Ansible. Learn how to automate Linux uh, system administration with Ansible. Red Hat system administration 294 is designed for Linux system administrators and developers who need to automate provisioning configuration, application deployment and orchestration. You will learn how to install and configure Ansible on management workstation, prepare, manage, host for automation, write playbooks to automate tasks and run playbooks to ensure servers are correctly deployed and configured. This course is based on Red Hat version 8 and Red Hat Ansible engine 2.8. Okay, so here you can see this uh, content summary about for RHCE is uh, these are the major modules which will be covered for uh, in uh, training for uh, SA3. RH294 is the curriculum content. So, install Ansible Red Hat Ansible engine on control nodes. Create and update inventories of managed hosts and managed connections to them. Automate administrative tasks with playbook and ad hoc commands write effective playbooks at scale, protect sensitive data using Ansible with Ansible Vault, reuse code and simplify playbook development with Ansible roles. Okay, so as I mentioned that the prerequisites for this particular course is you need to complete RHCSA. Okay, so otherwise you are not eligible to write this exam. So the exam certification details are like this, RHCSA exam. The exam type is hands-on, so I tell you, hands-on, you will be given the VMs virtualized machines where the questions will be provided and you need to perform the tasks which are listed out. So, it, this is called as hands-on, you need to secure about 70 percent, that is 210 out of 300, the duration is 2.5 hours for online, I think they have increased in additionally half an hour more. So, RHCE is the next level of RHCSA, that is 3 and a half hours passing is same 70 percent and hands on exam. Okay, so, you, this uh, is again a practical oriented exam which is uh, uh, very much in demand. I tell for all type of professionals whether you are going for cyber security, whether you are going for cloud, whether you are going for VMware or any other, please learn this RHCSA at least. This will be a fundamental foundational once you learn this operating system on Linux, the other things will become very, very easy for you at a greater heights. Okay? Uh, I wish you each and everyone a good luck and if you want any further information, you can even contact me at 
for anand.ke at live.com. Thank you. Bye.